And we're back. With that be ya. Gotta get in my BF mind here. Playing way more more. So today, what I'm going to do, for one reason or another, is I'm going to do a versus Jackie explanation for everyone, all right? Um, I've been watching the SoCal streams, unfortunately, and some of the matches are cool, but then when I watch the SoCal uh, Jackie players, no one really are punishing those guys. Uh, and it's driving me nuts. So, I want to explain how to fight Jackie so that people aren't falling for these particular, these, these tactics that are going on at Wednesday Night Fights. Uh, there's a few things I do need to explain, so I will explain those as I do this versus Jackie explanation. Uh, but... Yeah, I am. I want to do these for all the characters, but I figured Jackie first because he's the character I see people complain about the most. So this is. Oh, and for those of you who were listening to my podcast previously, this is going to replace my podcast. Um, basically, I'm going to be every week try to come on here with someone who is a specialist in their character, and I will talk with them about how to beat their character. But starting today, I will be doing this versus character series so that you guys learn how to fight against this stuff. So give me a few moments. Thank you. 
right, I'm just putting it out there so uh, people come to check out the stream if they are available. Um, but yeah, so let me go ahead and set this up here. <clears throat> I'm going to retitle this uh, stream right quick. Yeah, the patch is out for a PSN. Yep, okay. Uh, another few minutes, I'll get started on this uh, anti Jackie's up. Later, Furex. Well, a lot of it's going to be a lot of the same information, but not everybody saw the past videos. And I'm going to be going over some new stuff today, too. But generally, the thing is that a lot of people really bitch and moan about Jackie. And don't get me wrong, Jackie is a very strong character. Um, but the things that people are complaining about are easy, easily stopped. And I'm going to show people how to stop them today. And hopefully they'll have they'll level up from understanding how to beat the character. Even even after knowing this information, Jackie's still going to be hard to fight. Okay. I mean, this is, is dependent on the, the player, you know, the player who's playing the character. So this is mainly like generic stuff, like, this, yeah, anti-flip kick, stuff like that. It's, it's really generic stuff, very common stuff that you see Jackie players do. Okay, all right. I'm gonna go ahead into this uh, anti Jackie tutorial. Um, for those who don't know, I'm I Immortal. Um, I am Chibi I on uh, VFDC, and I'm gonna be explaining how to fight Jackie Bryant. All right. Um, <laughs> there you go. For the purposes of this, I will have the volume down so you guys can hear me clearly. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and hop on into this. And I apologize ahead of time if some of my explanations are a bit long. But this is good information. And hopefully someone who's in the chat 
who is a moderator on VFDC, will put this on the front page because this is important stuff. Okay. So, how to fight Jackie Bryant. Yeah, I'm going to talk about shuffle moves also. Okay. The first thing I want to talk about when you're fighting Jackie. All right. <laughs> okay. The first thing I want to talk about is this string. Okay. You should almost never be getting caught by this string. Okay. I'm going to show you how to defend against this string. Right? Okay, just duck. After you after the kick, just duck. Alright? You can also do this. 2P after the kick. Alright? You can also do that to stop them from using that string. Now I understand that online that can be a little difficult. So you may as well to be on a safe side, just block the entire string. All right. Now you might come across a few Jackies that like to do this. All right. That too can be beaten the same way. All right. So just no punch. Okay. That too is also beaten the same way. But let's say that you want to be careful. Okay? And your opponent is using both of these strings. He's using this string, and then he's using this string. Okay? To to beat both of those, alright, you can simply duck and then stand up and you'll block the low and you'll still block the highs if they do the side shuffle, slide shuffle switch, uh, uh, the side slide shuffle, sorry. So if they are doing that string, same thing, I messed up, sorry. You just stand up. Okay. Easy, easy, easy to defend. All right. Just knowing how to defend it. That's all. It's really easy to defend against those particular strings. Okay. Now I'm going to tell you that a good Jackie player will probably not use either one of those. But you're going to come across those uh, a Jackie that might do it. You never know. And now you know how to defend against it. I haven't seen many good Jackie players use um, the side the side slide shuffle. I haven't seen many good Jackies use that, at least after that string. Um, but learn how to defend against that string, because again, the the down kick actually will catch you sometimes. I mean, you can delay it a really long time. Okay, so. I mean, that's a long delay, and if you, you cause your opponent to freeze up, then you can do stuff like, uh, you know, elbow, or you know, throw, because you're causing, your Jackie player will cause them to freeze up. But to beat those options, simply after a person does that to you, 2P, 2P. Alright. Um, I will say this also though. The 2P after the 3K, Jackie's 3K, is only good if they do not finish the string. Okay, I'm going to repeat that. It's only good if they do not finish the string. Alright. I'll show you why. You see this distance here? If I don't finish the string, you do 2P, you whip. And I can punish you. Alright? So, you have to be very, very careful when using 2P versus this string. 
All right. So if you're going to use 2P after the 3K, make sure that you are at the right, and make sure that your opponent is finishing the string. It depends on the distance. Yeah, you're right. Okay. If I'm standing here, you can 2P. Okay. You can 2P me if I'm standing like here. But if I'm like max distance, you're not going to be able to 2P. Okay, I could harass you all day doing this if you are trying to 2P me. So again, you only use the 2P if you think that the Jackie player is going to finish this string. As you can see, 2P completely destroys the string. Right? But if I'm at the right distance, I can punish you for 2B. Alright? So be very careful. Alright? Okay, another thing I want to talk about is this flip kick. Garbage. Okay? Let's talk about the flip kick. First off, let's talk about the properties of the flip kick. Okay? First and foremost, flip kick is 14 frames. Alright? That's a pretty fast move. On counter hit, it does 75 points of damage. On normal hit, it does anywhere between 60 to 62. Depends on where it hits. Alright? But it's still a lot of damage. Alright? Manji, what are you saying? I don't know what that's supposed to mean. Okay. Uh, but back to what I was saying. So. <laughs> yeah. Okay. This is a direct jab at Rip. I don't know why. Oh, okay. I don't know why these Jackie players are, are using this flick kick so liberally. Okay. It's driving me nuts. So I'm going to tell you how to beat the flip kick. Alright? How to beat the flip kick. First and foremost, you have to understand where Jackie will use the flip kick. Alright? Generally, a Jackie player, yes, flip kick is minus 26. Okay? But even though it is minus 26, a lot of people don't punish it. A lot of people do not punish the flip kick. And I'm going to explain how to punish it. Okay? So, as you see, it's minus 26. Now, Jackie can absolutely murder you for using flip kick. Now, as you can see, I'm hitting a button here, right? And I'm not getting anything. Why? Because the flip kick leaves you in a ridiculously long amount of block stuff. All right? The reason why people aren't punishing the flip kick is because of the amount of block stun that it leaves you in. All right? So just so you guys can see this. No, you don't even have to run up to him. You don't even have to do that. If you have a good forward uh, moving launcher or a forward moving knockdown move, then you're set. You don't need to dash up. Okay? So if Jackie... Okay, I'm sorry. Let me uh, fix that. Okay, so if Jackie... You see that? I can't hit anything. I'm stuck in this block stun if I do it too early. So what I want to do is wait until he hits the ground. And then I'll punish him. Alright? Alright? If an opponent is using flip kicks as, as liberally as rip, okay, then what you're going to do is you're going to know how to punish it. Wait for him to land. Wait for him to hit the ground. All right? Yeah, apparently West Coast gets hit by those flip kicks. 
I don't know what's up with that. All right, but that's that's his business. All right, so wait until he's about to hit the ground. All right, don't attack. Don't try to hit him before he hits the ground. And make sure to have your biggest, biggest combo on hand to punish him for using a flip kick. All right. So whatever your largest combo is, that's what you're going to use to punish the flip kick. But make sure you wait until he hits the ground. All right. The move is Mega Minus. There is no reason that he should be going unpunished for block flip kicks. Okay. I don't care if you do punch kick. Punish him with something. Don't let him get away with doing it. All right. Do not let him get away with doing those kinds the random flip kicks. Okay, so what I want to talk about now is a si situations in which a player will use the flip kick. Alright, so we have, I'm sorry, allow me to correct myself. If you block flip kick from a longer distance, okay. Let's say I block flip kick from that distance. It's minus 24 at that distance. Minus 25. I stand correct. If you if you can't get like some if you if you're like that far away, you can dash up and do something. So as Blackula stated, you can dash up and you can do a move. I would use dash up UG or I'm too early. You can use something like that if he's too far away. But usually, a jacket player is not going to do a uh, flip kick that far away. It, unless they're just being stupid. Well, wait a minute. Rip does that. I'm sorry. Anyway, you can dash up and you can do something after a blocked flip kick from that distance. The 4PK is actually very good versus uh, the flip kick, the punish. I mean, you get 90 points of damage off of, you know, block flip kick for Jackie. Lord knows, you know, that's a ridiculous amount of damage. So you shouldn't be letting Jackies get away with doing random flip kicks. Okay? Yeah. Okay. Now, I do want to go into that. But I'll go into that in a bit. Okay? Now, a lot of situations that Jackies will use flip kick are going to be like these types of minus situations. Okay, minus five. Okay, but notice something. If he's using a flip kick at minus five, the computer two P's me, they win. Okay? I'll show you the command of me doing a flip kick. See this? See this? No, it's not that it has that. But uh, you're right, Manji. It's not that Flip Kick has invulnerability frames. It's the, the people are getting hit after these situations. Okay? Because they're not attacking back. They're not hitting Jack out of this. So, yeah, they're getting hit by the Flip Kick. Okay, if you watch the guys in SoCal, they're getting hit by the flip kicks after these types of moves. Okay, there's no reason that these guys should be getting hit by this flip kick after these types of moves. Okay, there's no reason for it. All right. See this book. Okay, 
there, there's no reason that a person should be able to. I saw this happen last night, and I wanted to just throw my laptop. Okay, look at this. I saw someone get hit by flip kick after that. Just so you guys are aware, this move, which is back punch plus kick, is minus eight. Okay, flip kick is 14 frames. There is no reason that a person should be getting hit by a, a flip kick after this. There's no reason for this. All right. You should not be getting hit by flip kicks at minus eight situations. Okay. There, there's no reason after these moves that you should be getting hit by flip kick. You see that? You're getting they're getting hit out of the flip kick. Okay. See, this is minus one, and yet he's still able to hit me. All right? See this? There is no crush property on the flip kick. Okay? There is no crush property on the flip kick. No crush property on flip kick. Okay? Do not let this happen to you. All right. Now, hopefully, that explains how to deal with flip kick in pretty good amount of detail. If you guys have any questions, feel free to shoot them in the chat. But the fact is, there's no reason to be getting hit by flip kick after these moves. I mean. Again, 2P, B, no reason. Okay? Yes, now I'm, okay. And you know what, you're right. That's something you guys need to work on. Learn your frames. Learn your frames. Okay? There's no reason to continuously get hit by flip kicks after Jackie's safe moves. Alright? Easily punished. You just have to know how, which is why I'm explaining it now. Alright? Now, let's talk about... Yeah, unless they try to throw you. Okay? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I stand corrected. Flip kick can punish someone trying to throw it. Okay. All right. Let's talk about uh, dealing with Jackie pressure. All right. A lot of the time, you're going to see a Jackie player. Uh, their offense is going to start with like elbow, uh, uh, elbow beam, six P. Uh, you got four K. Uh, 2P, obviously, 5P, uh, I mean, those are Jackie's offensive starters, alright? I'll tell you about the options that Jackie has after these particular options, after these particular moves, sorry, so that you have a better idea. Yes, 1P, you're right, 1P, also another one, another move that Jackie will start his offense from. So I'm going to tell you how to deal with these particular moves, okay? Since 1P happens to be the most annoying of the bunch, we're going to talk about 1P first. Okay. Now, 1P can go into slide shuffle. Alright. 1P has a very deceptive range. Okay. It has very good range. Is is deceptive. It, okay. Again, no... Uh, I'm sorry, I lost my turn of thought. So I'll just continue. Alright. Now it's only minus it's minus one on hit, so it's not plus. Alright? I think a lot of people get confused and think this move is plus. It's not. Okay? On well, side turn, it's plus. It's plus two on side turn. 
but on front, it's minus one. Okay, on counter hit, it is plus four. Of course, on counter hit, you can confirm to the kick, which natural combos on counter hit. All right, well, we're not talking about the counter hit; we're talking about normal hit. Okay, now a lot of Jackie players, including myself, will use this. Okay, now I'm gonna explain why Jackie does that, or why a Jackie player does that, and then how you can counter. All right. A Jackie player does this because, uh, that's several reasons. One, this causes people to freeze, all right? If someone does not respond with a crush move to beat this, or a, or, or like a re respond with a 2P, then a lot of people tend to freeze after this, okay? This is actually very good, so that means there's... 2P is only 13 frames because this is minus 1. Alright. So this is a strong tactic. It's a very, very strong tactic. Now, how to deal with it? Well, you can respond with your own 2P. Alright. So, if Jackie is doing this a lot, you can respond with your own 2P. Because your 2P is now 11 frames instead of 12, because you're at plus 1. Okay, so let's say your opponent's wisening up. Let's say your opponent's getting smarter. Your opponent doesn't do that. He does this. Block. Well, obviously, your 2P is not as effective anymore. Because he's blocking now. Alright. Well, what do you do? Well, you have to guess. Alright. The Jackie player... Well, very few Jackie players will actually block after that move. Okay? Very, very, very few. Alright. Jackie does have quite a bit of options after uh, one P hit. Okay? 2P is not his only option. But, okay, so Jackie is doing 1P. He's 2 p Alright, another option that you have versus the 2P, uh, most characters can use a, uh, a jumping launcher, like Eileen can use 9K, um, Lau can do, uh, what is it, I think 8K plus G. Um, so uh, you can use a jumping launcher to counter any of uh, Jackie's options except for the kick follow up. Uh, no. No. I mean, you could, but you. Yeah, but why? Exactly. Why? So, anyway, as I was saying, um, so again, another option is to use your jump, your jump, okay? Use your jump. Okay? You got your jump crush move if your opponent is uh, using 1P after, as uh, using 2P after you get hit by 1P. Okay? So you can do that. Yeah, it's Jackie's only move that low crush. Alright? But other characters have other moves that low crush. On the first that uh, they jump on the first frame, so <clears throat> that's something to pay attention to. All right, Jackie. Uh, for Jackie players, they have to use neutral jump kick, okay, As a, or jump kick, because that's the only movie has that low crush. Now, how to now bad responses to one P, okay, six P, bad response. You see, I'm using 6P, alright, I'm going to put it on uh, display, so you can see. Okay, I'm using 6P, and I'm getting beat by the 2P, because 6P is 14 frames, okay? Now, well, it's 13 frames, yes, but 2P, again, is going to beat you, every time. 
I'm sorry. It's going to be. It's going to be. It's going to be. So that is a bad response to blocking 1P. Because 2P will beat you. If your opponent is using 2P after 1P, using elbow is usually a bad idea. Unless you think they're going to delay and wait to see if you're going to do something. But that's that's higher level. We're talking about general jack and stuff. Okay. Now, if you're worried about the kick follow-up, okay, again, your 2P will beat the kick follow-up. If the 1P hits or normal hit. So, if the Jackie player is delaying the kick follow-up, okay, your 2P Uh, wait a minute, it had the guardian. Never mind. You get the point. Alright. I would do it here. Um, I'm sorry. That's what I meant to do. Your 2P, again, will beat this. Now, if you read it, you, you get a launcher. I, I'm, for some reason, getting it. You can launch them. You can... God damn it. I hate that. That happens to me a lot. Okay, you can do PK as a safe option to punish the kick follow. -up. Make sure to duck the kick follow, -up, however. All right. Again, ducking will answer all of Jackie's follow-ups to that move. Crouching guard, sorry, not just ducking, but crouching guard will beat all of his options after that. Okay. After it hits. Yeah, even if you delay the kick. If you delay the kick, you still can 2P. Okay? So if the person is doing like that. If he's doing that follow up, this, you still can 2P after this. Okay? You can still 2P. So if, they, if they're doing this, Right? And they're, you see, now, it doesn't matter which one they're doing, your 2P is going to win. Your 2P wins in this situation. Alright? Your 2P wins. All right, now, that's just dealing with the basic responses of, uh, that's dealing with the basic responses of uh, 1P, all right? Now, I should also mention that, again, 1P, as I mentioned, has a lot of distance, so... One P, I'm sorry, two P, your two P, if he hits from a far distance, will miss if he back dashes. Alright? You need to be aware of this. If Jackie back dashes, your two P will miss. And um sometimes, mind you, uh yeah, for the most part, um, if Jackie goes in a slide shuffle at max range of 1P, your 2P will also miss. So you guys have to be very careful about your responses. Alright? Do not get caught. Well, actually, I won't say do not get caught. Because the thing is, it's still a mix-up. I mean, even at minus one, Jackie still has responses, okay? Like, for instance, uh, I'm sorry, that's not what I wanted. Um, and you can beat this response. I'm sorry. 
you will only beat the lightning kick in that response uh, with a jab or two beat. Okay, to answer that question. Sorry. Nope, you miss. See that? At max range, Jackie's 3K will miss. So Jackie, in order to hit him, would have to respond with 6-6-K. No, 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 Manji, I'm going to go over how for players to figure out how to beat the lightning kicks also. Hey, what's going on? All right. <laughs> okay. So, <clears throat> Jackie, again, um, he can backdash to beat your 2P. So, he can do... Uh, allow me to fix that. All right. See, your response is Jackie can do very little, or well, and, and mirror. You can do very little here to uh, beat this backdash. So Jackie's response would be six six K or six K plus G. All right, but six P doesn't reach far enough. All right. Okay. Let, I think I've gone over 1P a bit. So we can talk about... Um, let's talk about 4P. Okay. I'm sorry, that's the wrong thing. Let's talk about 4P. All right, first and foremost... I want to save people a lot of pain and suffering. Every response after 4P is either high or low. Okay? Either high or low. So after you've blocked this move, let's go and hit. All the other hits are guaranteed. The a natural combo, okay? But on block, if you are blocking 4P, all of them are high or low. All right. I'm saving you guys a lot of pain and suffering. All right. Now. Let's say let's say uh, Jackie player uh, uses um let's say he uses 4P but doesn't follow it up. Yeah, Joho, to answer your question. Okay, so let's say you block this move, all right? And you're like, oh, okay, well, I figured out that I can just block low here. Okay, now this is only minus one on hit. Alright, I'm blocked. Sorry. This is minus one. Alright. Minus one. Okay. This is a great move. I think it's like 15 uh, frames, I, I believe. I, I'm not entirely sure of frames. I think it's something like seven, 15 or 17, I think. Um, let's check it out. 17 frames. Okay. 
So, again, I love this move. It's only minus one on block. People have to... Re you have to respect this move. Okay? You have to respect this. If you don't respect this move, then you're in a lot of trouble. Okay? It's minus one. First off, it has really good range. Alright? So, this is... It's actually one of my favorite uses for this move is if someone likes to dash in at me a lot and then they end up eating that okay I'll talk about that string in a second so you have to respect this move minus one alright now again going with default responses going with default responses okay your opponent Wants the 2P because they're. Uh, he's referring to 3PK. I'm sorry, 4PK. Alright. Anyway, going to the default response. If my opponent wants the 2P after this, I'm going to tell you right now 2Ping after this is a terrible idea. Okay. First off, you leave yourself open to a free combo. All right. This is a bad idea. Two P is a bad idea after this move. The people think it's a good idea, <laughs> but it's a bad idea. All right. I can't stress enough how bad of an idea it is to two P after this move. All right. So again, and no, it's not the only threat. You have this. If you're two being a lot, guess what? Oh, look, Jackie's at plus six now. Okay. So you get, you have, Jackie has tons of answers to 2P after this move. So do not, under any circumstances, try to 2P after 4P. It's, it leads to death. Okay. Do you want to eat a 106 point combo? No. So how do you prevent that from happening? You don't 2P. You do not 2P. Okay. What happens when you 2P? That. That happens when you 2P. Do not 2P. Alright? Now, another threat that happens after, that you have after uh, this. Again, do, don't 2P. That too is a special high. Okay? This leads to MIDI setups for Jack. Okay? But we'll get into that later. Okay, this is also a special high. So, once again, do not, under any circumstances, 2P. Generally, if I think my opponent's going to 2P, I'm using this. And, the other thing about this is that the hits are delayable. Okay, the hits are delayable, so you have to respect this.
All right. Respect for P. Now you can you can try to sidestep after uh, 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 wrong one. Okay. You can try to sidestep, but the problem is that this is full circular. Do you want me to change the stage? I can change the stage. I love this song. Anyway, um, this is full circular. All right. And for Manji, I will change the stage. I don't know. I love that song, though. Okay. So as I was saying, that move was full circular. So if you sidestep this, you have to deal with the full circular. Okay, so Shag, to answer your question, no. You cannot evade dash cancel on that. Um... Okay, so yes, this move is also plus three on block. Four PK is also plus three on block. And he can do all of his uh, front turn stuff. He can, all, he can do all of his uh, front facing stuff from back turn. Okay. He's a, he has access to his back turn attacks. So, again, this is plus three on block. Now, you can duck the second hit. So, again, it's a high follow up. You can duck the second hit. So for certain Jackie players online, who will remain nameless Motor City Jackie, you can duck this. So you guys don't get hit by this. Okay? You don't get caught. You duck the second hit. You can avoid all of those problems. Yes, and crouch block is the safest option versus Jackie's 4P. Now, I got all the respect in the world for Motor City Jackie, but he does that, that is really good online. This is really good online. <laughs> and he uses it to no end. <laughs> All right. Now, let's talk about another uh, one of Jackie's uh, strings is uh, 4K, K, K, K. Okay. All right. Uh, I'm I'm sorry. I'm my mind is stuck on that. Movie. Okay. So four K K K K K K K K K K K whatever. Okay. Now, again, the follow up to the the uh, the knee is a high. So your response to that can be to 2P if they're too close. If they are too close. 
if they are too close. At the right range, 2P is not even relevant. Okay. To this, to 4K. All right. But if they do the kick follow up, you get 2P. It's probably a good thing versus Jackie to use. Um, to use 2P versus that move, just to see if the Jackie player is paying attention. Alright? Just to see if he's paying attention. If he is paying attention, then he'll backdash beating up with you. Or he'll punish you for 2P. Okay? Now, the reason why I'm referring to 2P is because a lot of players use 2P as a response uh, to Jackie's moves. All right. But in general, 2P is the best option to shut down these particular strings. Okay, so don't get shut, don't get uh, hit by these strings. All right, do not get owned by these strings because your opponent, if your opponent is using this, then you can just do it. All right, just just get that out of the way. Now let's talk about if they are using uh, oh, I'm sorry so let's say they're using uh, oh, the entire string okay now this should be common knowledge but doesn't really you know help okay so let's talk about the properties of the move the move is Mid high, mid high. Okay. Again, you can just QP to stop the entire string. But in the event that you block this, you don't want to get caught by the. Uh, you don't want to do this. 2P here. After you block the second hit. Okay. This is a common mistake when fighting Jack that uh, I see with people online. Okay, this is a common mistake. Another common mistake is uh, sidestepping and then trying to attack. That's another common mistake after the third hit. Okay. Now you can sidestep this and block but you be, that's a waste of time. You haven't really gained anything doing this. You haven't gained anything. You could do. You know, you could go into side turn uh, if you if you're Jackie and you do that. But again, you've gained little to nothing. So you'd be better off just blocking and then ducking the last hit. Okay, you should have enough time to do a launcher, and you're okay. Alright. That's really all to know about that string. Um, as far as basic Jackie pressure, uh, again, it's going to start with... 4P, 1P, 6P, uh, 4K, 3K, which I've already covered. Uh, 1P, which I've already covered. So I think all that's really left to cover is uh, Jackie's side turn. And, yeah, Jackie's side turn. And uh, that's really it. Okay. So to deal with, um, well, oh, yeah, Jackie basic pressure. Okay. On hit, 
Jackie Jab is plus five. Pretty standard. Okay. So they have to crouch dash fuzzy guard after getting hit by that animal. Alright. Now your opponent if you now I do this a lot, okay? I do this a lot. There's Jackie's jab, uh, but I only do it against characters that don't have a lucky frame jab. Okay, so I don't do it versus Leon, and I don't do it versus Eileen. I, I, I'm not sure if anyone else has an 11 frame jab, but I know that those two have 11 frame jabs, and I don't like it, I don't do this versus those characters on a normal hit anyway. Okay. But against other characters, I will do this. You know, just it's kind of like, all right, where are you at? Where are you? Like mentally, where are you at? Can you deal with me doing this? No, I, I mean, no, Eileen, not Owie. Eileen's jab is 11 frames. Okay, so a very strong tactic uh, against this is simply a fuzzy guard and then, you know, respond accordingly to block 6P. Alright? 6P has a lot of range. So, Jackie can harass a player with 6P. All right. All right. Okay. Uh, apparently, oh, Blaze, Kage, uh, Leon, and Pi have 11 frame jabs. Okay. So against those characters, doing this is not exactly the strongest uh, attack. Okay. Now they're blocking. If you're blocking, sorry, I'll set it to guard. If you're guarding. Oh, Eileen, sorry. I, 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 I read E-L instead of E-I. My apologies. Okay. So if you're blocking this, remember the elbow is minus five. Okay. So Jackie is going to CD fuzzy, blah, 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 blah. Home block. At max range, it's uh, minus four. If I can get it at max range, there we go. Um, so, again, you still get fuzzy. All right. Minus four. Uh, actually, anywhere but up close. This is minus four. This is minus five. Okay. Make sure to study your frames when you're fighting against these characters. Study your frames. If you don't know your frames, then you pretty much deserve to lose. All right. Study your frames. Figure out how fast the move is and what the disadvantage of that move is. Okay. I see a lot of people getting beat by this. All right, and I have beaten a lot of people with this. Okay, so remember, know your frames. All right, it is minus four, minus five. You know, now granted, remember Jackie's follow-ups, the six P, are hot. Yeah, you can delay it. You can delay it a really long time, but remember that the follow-ups are hot. So what does that mean? Jackie starts getting fresh with strings. Oh, 2P. Oh, oh, 2P again. Oh, 2P. Wait a minute. It, doesn't, it seems to me that no matter what I do, I get hit by 2P. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, I did a kick follow-up. He hit me with 2P. All right. So in other words... Be, be smart. Know that Jackie's follow-ups after the string is a high. All right. It's a high. Okay. It's a high. Now, if you use a high move in response to this, you'll get beat. 
Why? Because this is still a string. And it's still able. So I can bait a high attack response. Oh, look. Someone tries to throw me. Add this. Very long delay. And this on counter hit leads to, um, and this is confirmable. That is hit confirmable for Jackie. So if you're trying to throw after that, Jackie can do the follow up punch kick to get to be at plus four frame advantage, which of course is not good for you. All right. I also forgot one move of Jackie's, and I'll go into it in a second. Um, so again, pay pay attention to how Jackie is approaching his offense. With you. Is he using a lot of this? Is he? I mean, is he doing this? I mean, what is he doing? And then respond accordingly. So you can two P. You have a lot of a lot of actions, a lot of responses. All right. Um, I'm going to do one more thing, and then I will uh, talk about Jackie's side turn, and then I will be done for this segment of how to fight Jackie. Um, this move, okay, the most common Jackie uh, attack. Okay, no, all the attacks are mids, okay. All the attacks are mid. All right. Now, how do you beat this? Well, first and foremost, you can sidestep the second hit if you think your opponent is going to finish this. All right. This is a very long, delayable move. Okay. Very, very long delay. All right. So this kind of is one of the keys to Jackie's offense. All right, the last hit of this is minus two on hit. On hit, it's minus sixteen on block. So if you block the last hit, do not let this go unpunished. Okay. Yeah, it pushes a di good distance away, but you still can punish it. All right. So you can you can punish it. So don't don't let Jackie's get away with doing that stream. Okay. Um, okay, oh yeah, one other, uh, I do want to talk about uh, dealing with the mix-up. Okay. All right, let's say your opponent's delaying all of these hits, okay? You're blocking. You're blocking. Now, I want to, to now Fuzzy Guard works versus the um works against the string only if the player delays. I need to make that clear. Only if the player delays the string does Fuzzy Guard work against the mid throw mix up. Okay? Only if. If they do not delay the string, then Fuzzy Guard does not work versus the mid hit. So you will get hit by the mid. All right. Now the damage is quite minuscule, but you get my point. All right. Um, on counter hit, though, you have to be careful with that string because on counter hit, Jackie gets a combo. All right. Jackie gets a combo on counter hit. Be very careful. So you can fuzzy after the second hit of the 1P plus KP string. Okay.
Now, the kick follow-up isn't even relevant. <laughs> Honestly, the kick is just kind of there. It's not really worth doing. Like, there's little to no reason to use the kick. Um, unless the opponent keeps sidestepping the wrong direction after blocking the first two hits. Um, and to defend against that, simply step towards Jackie's back. And there you go. You actually will beat all the options if uh, you step towards Jackie back. And when you step, also buffer in the throw escape so that you don't get caught by the mid-throw mix-up. Or the side, you know, you get what I'm saying. All right. Uh, that's pretty much it for that string. And then now we're talking about Jackie on side turn. Okay. Now, Jackie on side turn, dangerous. Okay. Let's take a look at some of his frames. Um, oh, let me turn off the guard here. Uh, let's turn it in. Alright. So, this move on side turn is plus two. It just got better. Okay? The move is better. This on side turn, that's your friend. This is your friend. You get an opponent that likes hitting buttons? That's your friend right there. Alright? If you're a Jackie player. This is a minus one on side turn. On side turn hit instead of in front, minus four. Okay? So kind of, in a way, in this situation, you have a pseudo uh, front 1P situation. But, whatever. Um, this on side turn, on hit, is plus 15. On block, which is one of my favorite moves on side turn, it's plus 1. Plus one on side turn. All right, that's important to know. I personally use this a lot. Okay, now I shouldn't have to say this, but I'll say it anyway. When you're on side turn, please do not two p. The results are disastrous. Do not two p. Okay. All right, now, on side turn also, this is unblockable. 4P, 1P is unblockable on side turn. Okay? Unblockable. And to prove that it is unblockable, for those who want to see that it is unblockable, up front, you can see that he's blocking it, clearly. On side, he cannot block it. Alright? It is unblockable. So do not fall for this. Well, actually, eh, I won't say that. But this, just be aware that this is unblockable. So if you block 4P, the 1P follow-up is definitely unblockable. Okay? This on side turn which is another one of my favorite moves to do when someone side turns. It's plus nine. Okay. All right. Very, 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 very strong shit on side turn. Okay. A common trap you will see um, is this. Uh, on side turn. So, uh, oh yeah, I forget. <laughs> um, let me just do that. Uh, I, I forget the computer does that. Um, I don't know if I can actually set the computer to 2p after. Uh, no, nah, okay. So, no, all right, I can't set the computer to do that. And I, I, I forget that the. Uh, computer does this. Um, okay. Oh, uh, no, no. It should work on side turn. No. Uh, well, whatever. Okay, I'll show you it uh, as a player. So, um, common trap 
is um, to do this and 3K. All right. This is common um, versus a jacket because any response that you have, actually, no, I have a way of simulating it. Any response that you have after a minus four situation, you get combo. Other than sidestep or guard. Okay? So anytime you're minus four against Jackie's side turn, your options are simply to sidestep or to guard. All right? You hit any button. This happens to you. Okay? All right? So, be careful. Be very careful. Okay? Um, so, versus Jackie's side turn, um, CD, uh, I'm sorry, uh, side turn fuzzy guard is very strong. Um, if you don't know what side turn fuzzy guard is, I'll go over it briefly. Um, I'm sorry. Uh, whoops. Uh, I agree with that. All right. So if you don't know what side turn fuzzy guard is, basically it's when you're at um, a situation in which you are at minus. On side turn, you can you have one frame to input down and guard. So what Kamage told me to deal with stuff like this. Uh, I'm sorry. When you are at minus nine or ten, I'm sorry. Between minus seven and minus ten, on side turn you have one frame to enter fuzzy. The side turn fuzzy guard. Okay. Now, if you're doing a side turn fuzzy guard properly, you will duck under the jab, okay? In, in that situation, uh, you cannot block the jab if you're at minus 10-ish, okay? Um, so you cannot block the jab from side turn. So you can use the side turn fuzzy to avoid the situation, all right? So... See, if I hold guard, use it like this, I can't block the jab. Okay. Now, if I turn on all the options, I messed up. Oh well. Okay, you get you get what I'm saying. Okay, when you're side turn in that type of situation, using the side turn fuzzy guard will defend against Jackie's general option. Okay, his general options being standing punch, throw, and 3K. All right, from side turn. You will defend all of those options if you use the side turn fuzzy guard throw escape. Okay, when you perform the side turn fuzzy, make sure that you're buffering in a throw escape depending on the direction that you're facing. If you're facing towards the screen, it's a back break. You're using a back PG. If you're facing away from the screen, then it is forward. All right? Now, it is not anti-Jackie, but that is general information that you need to know as a player. So, these being Jackie's main options from side turn, you can figure out how to, uh, use, to de defend against these particular options. Now, one thing that side turn fuzzy does not defend against is this. Okay. Um, so again, I'm still side turn. Yeah, if I don't, if, now I have to commit to ducking if my opponent, if I know that my opponent's going to use this. I'm oh, sorry. Okay. 
you still it's still unblockable. All right. So I mean, Jackie does have options versus side turn fuzzy guard, but those the three options that I displayed before are still like his best options on side turn. So uh, using the side turn fuzzy guard, you won't get counter hit for sidestepping because you're not sidestepping. All right, and you actually get to defend against Jackie's three best uh, options by using the side turn fuzzy guard. Uh, and that really covers it. Uh, that really covers how to fight Jackie. Um, there's really not much else to say. <laughs> uh, learn his punishable moves. Um, if you don't, if you haven't already seen Joe Josef's, uh, uh, Punishment videos. Make sure to watch them. They're on VFDC. Now you can hard. It's not hard to find them. You can find them on VFDC. He goes over punishing all of the characters, so you can learn all of Jackie's punishable moves by looking at his video or going through Jackie's move list to find out what the frame advantage or disadvantage of those moves are. So again, make sure that you're punishing him for using these particular tactics against you. All right. Um, like I said, that really covers it. That about does it. Um, thanks for checking it out, watching the stream. Um, I'm going to restart the stream because uh, I'm going to practice a little bit. But, yeah, so thanks for checking it out. I'll catch you guys later.